Tippy time, my damies. Top Cat here, and welcome back to the channel. We're on our Revenant Hunter today, slaying out in some Onslaught. Now this kit plays a little bit different from our traditional Stasis Hunter. They're naturally huge on slows, but now we're flexing with Freeze. My mate Dark Promethean and myself have been running variants of this kit since the original Onslaught release, but it wasn't until the Mask of Fealty dropped that I felt this kit was complete. Now this helmet is currently bugged, but even though it's only half working, it's all good. Its perk is Null Factor, our Withering Blade hits and bounces, create a small stasis crystal and refund a portion of melee energy. Our shurikens are now big and beefy. We've got two charges and it used to be that we needed both of them to get out that freeze. But now, as it plants a stasis crystal there at their feet, freeze on command. And having multiple bounces, this means multiple ice formations. These attacks can give us as much as 30% of our melee charge back to us. Now it's on a bit of a short delay, and it tends to give us about 10% energy per bounce. The second half of this exotic isn't currently working, so I'm not going to bother talking about it here, particularly as this season's artifact more than make up for it. With Crystalline Converter, we can create additional ice formations by storing up Stasis Shard energy. As we are chucking out shurikens like Dice at the Sino, we pretty much only got one additional iceberg. With Brain Freeze, we get a small dustbird sized cloud around our frozen target to aid in troop suppression. Fishes is key for this kit, as it has icicles like brothels have STDs. And Hail the Storm acts much like I imagine the Mask of Fealty Shuriken perk would work, adding extra AoE damage to break all crystals around. This will increase our shatter damage and increase the radius of that shatter out to 10 meters. Now I tried initially to use Hunger to feed us more melee energy from our shard pickups, but it didn't justify the 5% extra for that cost of a neg 20 strength. My kit only has 30 strength and I never feel longing for a melee. We're running Gambler's Dodge to feed us a melee charge when dodging next to those bad dudes. We have Grim Harvest feeding us stasis shards when we defeat slowed or frozen target to again top us up with that melee juice. Add that to our masks 30% and we be cooking. Serve Cold will help keep us topped up with dodges, giving us class ability energy on top of melee energy from those shards. With just 50 mobility, I can get a dodge back in as little as 8 seconds. It's effortless too, as Conduction will suck those shards to us within a 15 meter radius. These shards also feed us Frost Armor. This build is pretty aggressive, so it's gonna need it. Our standard Frost Armor maxes out at 22.5% damage resist. With Rhyme, we can hold eight stacks for a 36% damage reduction and extend that timer out to 13 seconds, up from 10 seconds. With Armor of Eremis, whilst our Frost Armor is up, if I drop the ball and take a thick hit, we emit a freezing burst. This is even better when we enhance it with one of those Gargamel potions. So this is really great at letting me live to fight another day. I think the key difference between Dark's kit and mine was Whisper of Impetus. As we are chucking on ninja stars like Gambit would if you stole his gumbo. When damaging targets with a stasis melee, it reloads our stowed weapons and grants us 40 handling for 6 seconds. This kit is very heavy on its weapon swaps. So the quicker the draw, the deader the dudes. Now Shadow Dive is our second leg of this build. Jump in, hold dodge, come down, ice is gone along with the bad guys. With Whisper of Shards, when we shatter any friendly stasis crystal, we get a 500% boost to our grenade recharge rate. With one crystal, this boost is active for 6 seconds. With multiple crystals, we get an 11 second boost. And we can keep this boost as long as we continue to break ice. Naturally, I'm utilizing the ice ball. When using one grenade and dive, a dodge with bomber, and a melee with impact induction, I get my grenade back in just 15 seconds. Now we can also improve on this with orbs of power. I'm running siphons on my helmet to make orbs on weapon kills. 
with powerful attraction, these get picked up like I'm paying for it whilst dodging. Absorption reduces all my ability cooldowns, and Orbs of Restoration tops up my lowest fueled ability. In a perfect world, it's an 11 second grenade. And I've also got one recuperation mod to push me back into the White House. When it comes to your arsenal, my ideal heavy is the Salvation's Grip Heavy GL. This puppy makes ice like Mara does bonus. We hold and release to make 6 stasis crystals. Its damage is similar to an aggressive rocket on a single target, but because of its large footprint, we can deliver great damage to multiple targets. It slays an onslaught and is probably the best spawn trap weapon we got. And because we can shadow dive these formations, we don't have to waste ammo breaking them. Our ice is also going to hurt more as we've got concussive reload and the artifact to weaken. I'm pairing it with last season's lost signal. It's very effective at breaking crystals and it's very easy to proc one for all on it for a bonus 35% weapon damage for 10 seconds when our enemies are ice sculptures. And we bust out the synergy mod on it to make more stasis shards. This stasis kit naturally has overloads and unstops on lock. So to round it out, if you can pair it with a good shotty, I definitely would. I'm busting it with the Sudden Death, as it's got Trench Barrel giving us a 50% damage bonus post melees. And let's face it, this kit is all about those melees. Now feel free to pause here for my artifact, frags and mods, but there will be a dim link in the description down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, particularly if any of you have tried the Mask of Fealty on Prismatic. I love this kit. It's a perma save on my character now as it's dialed our Revenant up to 11. Make sure to thumb it if you dug it, sub if you're new, and as always, tippy time my damies, what a time.